Hello, friends, and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today's video is going to be a cook with me. I am preparing um, what I like to call a Southern style um, comfort food meal. I am making a beef stew uh, with rice and gravy and string beans. So I'm going to bring you into the kitchen and I want you to come on in and let's cook together. So guys, I have prepared the, the um, stew beef and I've also added oxtails uh, to add a little flavor. Um, I find that stew beef can be a little tough if you don't have that boned meat in with it, as well as a little fat, and the stew beef is really, really lean. And besides, I like an oxtail here and there as well. So I've already added um, a half of a sliced onion. I've cut up uh, garlic, fresh garlic, and now I'm adding my season. So we're adding seasoned salt. Um, we're also going to add pepper. I'm going to add sage. Um, some paprika, and I may even, even though I have fresh garlic, I think I'm also going to add um, a little uh, garlic powder as well. Uh, guys, stew beef is one of those meals that I don't cook very often because I try to stay away from uh, red meat um, as much as I can. Uh, we eat a lot of chicken and fish and turkey around here. But stew beef is also one of those meals that once you get that pot prepared and get it all done and plated, it's one of the best tasting things and most satisfying meals um, that one can have, especially as temperatures drop and, you know, you cuddle in for for the cooler weather. So I'm still adding my seasonings and um, as you can see I have potatoes already uh, diced in that bowl with cold water so that they will not brown while I wait for the stew beef to cook down and get really really tender. I'm also going to add a can of um, carrots and a can of sweet peas as well uh, to give it a little oomph if you will. But I'm also going to add this over rice like I said it's southern cooking so you've got um, a few potatoes in there and but you're also going to add rice and here I'm also adding parsley and I don't think I named that in the beginning as one of the seasonings that I was going to use as well with this dish and guys I'm cooking this I'm not using an instapot I'm not using a slow cooker I am going to put it on top of the stove and I'm going to let it simmer and cook for as long as it takes for it to get tender and just make the house smell all good. And um, when I cook meals like this, it always reminds me of my my uh, my mom and my grandma. So those are good memories for me. So no Instapot today and no Crock-Pot today. Just a regular old pot on top of the stove with a little Southern yummy. friends you see me fiddling there with the top of the pot um this is a, a set of tea fowl pots that i've had for many many years and what i love about the top is that it has that little steamer thing there and when you open it it keeps your pot from boiling over because it lets the steam out these are um like i said i've had them for a while but they do they do cook well they're getting a little worn now so i'm thinking about getting something else but they really work well i love the tops the way that they work So I'm just showing you there what I'm also adding. And by the magic of film, um, the stew beef has been simmering for about three hours now. And so now I'm going to thicken the gravy. So I've got a little flour in that water. And I'm adding a little browning um, because I don't like white gravy. And I will add this to the pot and that will thicken the gravy up a bit. Also, guys, if you 
take a peek over there at the end of my counter, you can see that I've also baked um, a little surprise there. But that's going to be in another video. That's one of those videos when I, like I said, I was going to start um, trying some recipes out and letting you know how they come out. I'm going to cook them exactly, follow the recipe exactly. Usually I, I deviate and add a little of this and a little of that and cook a little different. But for these videos, when I'm trying these recipes, I'm going to follow the recipe exact so that I can tell you and my review will be uh, for the exact recipe. So that uh, video will be coming soon. So, but you're getting a little sneak peek of it over there. As you can see, I'm really stirring the flour in because we don't want any lumps in our gravy. That can be the worst to have lumpy gravy. Um, I don't think I've added qu quite enough, but we're going to make do. The beef is cooked down really well. Um, it, it's really tender. And now it's time to see if we need to add any other seasonings to this. Guys, please forgive my overflowing uh, trash there. Orlando said he was going to wait, and since I was cooking so much, he was going to wait until I was just about done to take the trash out because I had, um, you know, packages from the meat and scraps from just cooking and that kind of thing. So that's why the trash can is f more full than it should be. <laughs> So finally, guys, it's tender enough. I have added the um, can of carrots. I've added the sweet peas. And now I've added the, um, the potatoes. So now all we need to do is just wait for the potatoes to get tender. And it'll be time to plate it up. And now I'm going to add the thickener to try and get the gravy a little, thick, a little thicker. And just so you know, I've also added um, or prepared um, a pot of rice and um, some string beans to go on the side too. Although I have sweet peas in this, I just always like to have a full uh, green vegetable with the meal as well. And so now it's time to plate it up and let you see how it all turned out. And here we are. Um, the beef is tender. You can cut it with a fork. No knife was necessary. The string beans were seasoned. Um, the only difference between seasoned salt and pepper was that I added a little Italian seasoning to those as well. And it looks yummy. And I can say that it was yummy. Um, this particular meal made my <laughs> husband very happy today. Um, it's one of those meals that men tend to, to truly love. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I've certainly enjoyed cooking with you today. And the best part was that we did it slow and easy. Um, I don't have, I kept saying it's not an Instapot. I don't have an Instapot, but I do have um, a quick cooker. I think it's called. It's by George Foreman. 
and I, of course I have a, a, a crock pot or a slow cooker but today I just decided to do it the old-fashioned way and it was it was fun it was cold and rainy out um, today and um, we didn't have much to do and it was just the two of us so this was just a fun afternoon of course I could have found something else to do but this was a lot of fun for me and I'm glad that I could share it with you I hope it has given you some um, inspiration maybe this is something you haven't prepared in a while and you can uh, throw together a southern yummy <laughs> and uh, one of those you know just comfy comfort foods so again I'll say I really enjoyed bringing this to you today and I'm glad that you've stuck around and watched me prepare this meal and so guys um, I hope that if you're not already subscribed to my channel that you will hit that subscribe button below and once you hit the subscribe button hit that little bell as well so you'll be notified of all upcoming content You'll be glad you did, and we'll be glad to have you. For all of my new subscribers, I want you to know that I see you, and I am very grateful for you. I'm glad that you're here, and I hope that you will remain and um, go on this journey along with us. For my ride or die, so you guys know how I feel about you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'm so glad that you're sticking and staying, and this is some place that you are finding information that that keeps you interested and inspires you. So with that said, guys, I'm going to leave you the way that I always do, with lots of love, hugs, and blessings. Find something today to bring joy to your life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.